High blood pressure is often called a silent killer. It can damage your heart, kidneys, and other organs without you even knowing it. It is a common condition that affects millions of people worldwide. There are also a number of natural supplements that have been shown to lower blood pressure. But in this video, I'll tell you about the best supplement that can effectively help you achieve healthy blood pressure and reduce your risk of complications associated with high blood pressure or hypertension. I'll tell you how it works, what the research says, and how you can easily get it from your diet alone. It's so easy. I'm talking about potassium. One major reason that many people have high blood pressure is because of the deficiency of this mineral in their bodies. In fact, a study published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2017 showed that only about 2.8% of U.S. adults met the daily recommended intake for potassium. World Health Organization recommends a daily intake of at least 3.5 grams of potassium for adults. However, most people, especially in the U.S., feed on more fast food items and processed foods, which usually have very low amounts of potassium and too much sodium. Now, having more sodium and less potassium in the body is another bad thing that contributes to the development of high blood pressure. Sodium, as you may already know, comes from table salt. And fast foods and many processed foods are often loaded with high amounts of salt. When you eat too much salt, your body retains water. This extra water can increase the volume of blood in your body, which can put extra strain on your heart and blood vessels, leading to high blood pressure. And you know that the recommended daily intake of sodium for adults is 2.3 grams or just one teaspoon. However, many people consume much more than this. It is estimated that the average American consumes about 3.4 grams of sodium per day, or roughly 1.5 teaspoons of salt. This may not seem like a lot of salt, but it actually makes a lot of difference. In simple words, it's because when you have too much sodium, your kidneys try to get rid of it. And in the process, they end up getting rid of that little potassium that you probably had in your body. This imbalance between sodium and potassium can affect your muscles, heart, and of course, your kidneys. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Now, about potassium. Potassium helps to lower your blood pressure in many ways. First, it helps in the widening of your blood vessels, also known as vasodilation. The inside of our arteries is lined with endothelial cells. Potassium helps to trigger the release of nitric oxide from these cells. And then this nitric oxide triggers those tiny muscles in our blood vessels to relax, ones that control the expansion of arteries as blood flows through them. This relaxation effect or widening of blood vessels reduces resistance to blood flow, leading to lower blood pressure. Not just that, potassium also helps to regulate sodium levels in our body, just like too much sodium pushes the potassium out of the body. Eventually, it's all about balance. And that balance lies in 2.3 grams of sodium and 3.5 grams of potassium per day. Some studies have even emphasized taking more than 3.5 grams of potassium for blood pressure regulation. For example, in one study, people who took 4.7 grams of potassium per day for eight weeks had a significant reduction in their systolic blood pressure as compared to those who took a placebo. Some studies even show that taking more potassium from diet or supplements can reduce blood pressure by up to 10 to 12 points. Surprisingly, typical medications for blood pressure regulation can lower blood pressure by up to 8 to 10 points. So you can see how effective can potassium be for your heart. One more thing. Different studies have analyzed the effects of varying amounts of potassium on selected individuals. Your individual needs for potassium may not be the same, so you should only consult your healthcare expert to determine how much potassium do you need to lower your blood pressure. Anyhow, you can easily get this mineral from your diet. Number 1. Sweet potatoes are among the richest sources of potassium, providing around 542 mg of potassium per serving. They are also rich in fiber, vitamins, and many antioxidants that can be great for your overall health. Number 2. Just one medium-sized banana contains approximately 400 mg of potassium. They are a convenient and portable source of potassium. Number 3. One cup of cooked spinach offers about 839 mg of potassium. It's not only an excellent source of potassium but also a great thing to get many essential vitamins and minerals 
And number four, a medium-sized avocado offers approximately 975 milligrams of potassium. Avocados are not only potassium rich, but also provide healthy fats and fiber. Other healthy foods that contain potassium are oranges, salmon, cantaloupe, and acorn squash. Remember to take enough potassium from a balanced diet that contains these foods, and try not to exceed too much than your individual needs. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.